In this video, I will be providing an overview of the Text Encord Pro features and settings in Mobile Sheets. These files are handled in a special manner in Mobile Sheets. Unlike PDFs and images, Text Encord Pro files don't have a predefined number of pages, and the styling of lyrics and chords can be changed dynamically as needed. Additionally, Chord Pro files support settings and commands called directives that add even more control over how the file is displayed and the information contained within it. The aim of this video is to provide an introduction to the handling of these files in Mobile Sheets, as well as the settings used to control their appearance. More complex topics related to Chord Pro files will be covered in separate videos. To begin, I will go over a few of the import settings related to text files and demonstrate importing, loading, and modifying the configuration of a text file. To better demonstrate and explain the various settings and features, I will be using the following sample text file. This file contains a title, an artist, the key of the song, chords, and lyrics. Before this file is imported, it's important to discuss the various text file settings that are available. Tap the three dots at the top right corner of the library screen, then Settings, and Text File Settings. A large list of text and chord profile settings can be found on this screen. At first, we will only go over settings that apply to both text and chord profiles. The first entry in the list is Default Display Settings. This option allows default settings to be changed for the visualization of text and chord profiles, such as font sizes and the styling of chords. We will cover the display settings in detail a little later. Next, there is a wrap text setting. This determines if text will wrap to the next line if it reaches the edge of the screen versus extending off the screen. It's generally advised to leave this setting enabled as there will be no way to read text that is rendered off the screen. Next, the page margins option provides a way to select the margins for each side of the page. For users that want to maximize the page sizes that are used, they can decrease the margins around each edge. For example, if the margins are reduced to 10, we can see that space between the text and the edges of the page is noticeably reduced. The Use Multiple Columns setting determines if Mobile Sheets will attempt to display multiple columns of lyrics and chords on a single page. This is only possible if the width of the longest line on a page is short enough to allow another column to be inserted. The Use Text Fields During Song Creation setting will determine if Mobile Sheets will populate song fields such as Artist when reading the data in a text or a chord profile. To better explain this, I will load the text editor for the current file to show the fields listed at the top. Text files only support three fields, Title, Artist, and Key. While Chord Pro files can populate almost any field in Mobile Sheets, which is discussed in the Understanding Chord Profiles tutorial video. In this example, we will leave the Use Text Fields During Song Creation on to demonstrate populating the Artist field with our text file, which we will demonstrate later. The Modulate Capo Down setting has to do with how a capo is applied when transposing chords. By default, this setting is enabled and chords will be transposed down when a capo is applied. 
In order to properly demonstrate this feature, I will apply a capo value of 2 in the text display settings, which is accessed through the song overlay. This means that if a C chord is desired, for example, and a capo on the second fret is used, then an A sharp chord will be listed in order to play the originally intended chord of C. If the modulate capo down setting is unchecked, then mobile sheets will display the chord that should be played without a capo to be equivalent to the original chord with a capo. Using our previous example, playing a C chord with a capo on the second fret is equivalent to playing a D chord without a capo. For users that would like to see the capo information, either on the page or in the next song title bar, tapping the capo display settings option will display a dialog containing settings related to that. The position and style for the capo information on the page can be configured as desired. The next setting that should be mentioned is Detect Key By. If the text file does not explicitly list a key, Mobile Sheets will either use the first chord, last chord, or the chord progression in order to determine the key of the song. This matters when transposing in order to see the correct key listed. The settings that should be discussed next are the chord localization settings. These settings determine how chords are handled during transposing. In some countries, H should be used instead of B, for example, and this setting ensures that users see the chords they expect. The default source localization determines whether mobile sheets should expect the original file to use the localized chords such as H instead of B, or just standard chords of C through B. The default display localization determines whether mobile sheets should display chords in their localized format versus the standard. We can see that setting the default display localization to German shows H chords instead of B. The next setting to discuss is the auto size font setting. If this setting is enabled, Mobile Sheets will change the font size for the text or chord profile so that it's as large as possible without wrapping lines. The maximum font size used is determined by the maximum auto font size value. I will set this value to 60, which is typically much larger than needed to ensure Mobile Sheets can use a larger font size to fill the screen. We can see that if a text file is imported, and displayed without the auto size font setting enabled, the font is sized too small for the lyrics to fill the screen. But with the setting enabled and a maximum font size of 60, the lyrics fill the entire screen without wrapping. The last setting that we will discuss for text files is the display file encoding setting. While this is a somewhat complicated topic, Files can be encoded with different character sets. If you find that your files are being displayed with question marks in odd places or other unexpected symbols, it may be due to mobile sheets using the incorrect file encoding. In these situations, you can enable the display file encoding setting and change the file encoding dropdown to a different value in the text display settings dialog which will be shown later. Now that the settings for text and chord profiles have been discussed, I will return to the library screen, tap Import, Local File, and will select the text file that was shown previously. I should mention that when importing a single text or chord profile, Mobile Sheets will use the title displayed in the file 
instead of the file name. If no title is specified in the file, then the title can be edited in the Import Settings dialog if needed. Once the song is created, we can see in the Song Editor that the Artist field has been populated with the artist name specified in the text file as the Use Text Fields During Song Creation setting was enabled earlier. If we return to the library screen and tap the song, it will load and display the text file. By default, no styling is applied to the file. To change the styling, tap the center of the screen to bring up the song overlay, tap the A icon at the top right, and tap Text Display Settings. On the dialog that is displayed, we can see a series of different settings. The font used for the text file can be changed if desired, as well as the file encoding to address incorrect symbols, and the right to left switch can be toggled to handle files with right to left languages. The toggle at the very top of the dialog will switch between the simple and advanced modes. For most users, the simple setting is sufficient as all font sizes will be increased or decreased at once with the text size slider. For users that want more control, switch to the advanced mode. Now, individual settings are displayed for the different types of content in the text file as well as the spacing between lines. For example, I can increase the chord sizes without increasing the lyric size to make them more visible. Users can also turn off things they don't want to see by tapping the eye icon between the relevant field. By tapping on the eye icon next to the title, we can see that the title is hidden on the page. This is an easy way to hide chords, for example, if only lyrics should be shown. While most of the fields are self-explanatory, the Meta Size field may confuse some users. That setting applies to things like subtitles or the artists listed in the file. One nice feature is the ability to change the color of chords. And optionally their background color as well, which really helps them stand out from the lyrics. You can also bold or italicize chords if desired. The last slider is the capo, which will transpose all of the chords in the song based on the previously explained modulate capo down setting. Tapping the I icon will toggle whether the capo setting should be used when transposing chords. If the capo information should just be displayed in the next song title bar, or on the page without changing the chords, the capo can be toggled off. One nice feature is the ability to apply one file's text display settings to others. If the Apply To button is tapped, we can see the settings can be applied to every other file in the set list or to all files in the entire library if desired. This provides a quick way to update settings for multiple text or chord profiles at once. If the current settings should act as the default settings for all files imported in the future, the Set as Default button can be tapped to accomplish this. The Reset to Defaults button can be tapped to reset the current song's settings back to the defaults. The defaults can also be modified separately 
under the Default Display Settings option on the Settings screen that was mentioned earlier. To automatically resize the font for the current file, tap the Auto Size button and the font will be enlarged either to fill the screen without wrapping or to the maximum specified in the settings. If a text or chord profile needs to be edited, this can be accomplished by tapping the A icon in the song overlay and then tapping Edit File. The text editor is fairly easy to use, but requires an understanding of Chord Pro syntax. This topic is covered in more detail in the Text File Editor tutorial video. In order to transpose the chords in a text or chord profile, tap the Transpose icon in the song overlay, and then tap the left or right arrows to switch the current key. The starting key is determined by the Detect Key By setting mentioned earlier or if the key was specified in the text or chord profile. To force sharps to be used, tap the Sharps button. Similarly, to force flats, tap the Flats button. Tapping the Reset button will reset the song back to the starting key. Tap OK to save the selected key. One nice feature with text or chord profiles is that performing a pinch gesture to zoom will increase or decrease the font size instead of just zooming the page in or out. This provides a fast way to enlarge or shrink the text as needed. If this behavior is undesired, Bring up the Song Overlay settings, tap the second icon at the bottom left, and then tap Zoom slash Pan settings. On this dialog, there is a Text and Chord Profile Zoom Mode dropdown that can be tapped to switch the current zoom mode. To switch the behavior to just zooming in or out on the page, Without resizing the font, select the Change Page Size option. To disable pinch zooming entirely, select the Disabled setting. Another thing that should be noted is that text and chord profiles can still be annotated as demonstrated here. But these annotations cannot be stored in the text or chord profiles themselves. If a text or chord profile with annotations is exported, and the option to export annotations is enabled, the file will be converted to a PDF. Similarly, if annotations are embedded in a text or chord profile, the file will be converted to a PDF, and the text and chord profile features will be unavailable from that point onward. As shown in this video, there are a large number of settings that can be adjusted to control how text and chord profiles are handled and displayed. While text files are a simple and convenient way to display lyrics and chords, chord profiles offer many benefits over text files. To learn more about chord profiles, tap the video shown below. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in mobile sheets as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.